Is that <clears throat> too pale of me? Hello there guys, it's your boy Joel aka Gallant and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now the big topic of discussion this week is Virgil Abloh at Louis Vuitton. I thought I would ask you guys your opinions over on my Instagram yesterday, so I'm going to read um, what your reactions are, tell you my opinion, and I also got to pick up some off-white sunglass hut collaboration sunglasses at Selfridges yesterday. Selfridges were kind enough to um, gift me a pair. So I will show you what I copped then. If you are new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, then share this video with a friend who you think might find it interesting and that would be incredible. Thank you so much. Um, I myself am prepping to go to LA for a whole month um, on Monday, which I'm extremely excited about. Also feeling very unprepared. Um, I went and got my hair cut today. That's why I'm wearing a cap right now because I haven't had a chance to do my hair properly since having it cut. Um, and I'm about to go to the gym after I film this. So um, yeah, just kind of preparing myself and then I have to pack this weekend for a month, so it should be quite interesting. Hero, please stop crying. So, as I was saying, um, Virgil Abloh, the creative director of Off-White, has now been announced as the head menswear designer for Louis Vuitton. Obviously, Kim Jones. The last Louis Vuitton collection was literally incredible. I was so, so impressed with menswear anyway. Um, I actually inquired at Louis Vuitton about one of the bags, and it was 15,000 pounds. I was like, mm, I think I'll pass this time. It was like a runaway piece and they don't really produce those so it would be made to order and stuff like that. So I was like, yeah, probably not gonna get that. Perfectly happy with Kim Jones Louis Vuitton. Um, he was making waves, he did the Supreme collab and all that kind of stuff. Um, and really put Louis Vuitton in the kind of streetwear direction. Um, obviously Virgil will take that to the next level, I think. Whether you're a fan of Virgil or not, you have to be impressed from where he's come from, starting with um, Pyrex and a bean trail and all that kind of stuff, like Supreme printed t-shirts and shorts and stuff um, to then becoming, you know, starting off-white and then pushing off-white to where it is now, which is insane. Off-white is stocked literally everywhere. They have their own stores. He's like a master of branding. They've had so many collabs, um, recent ones, including what? Sunglass Hut, which I just picked up. Ikea is coming, Off-White and Ikea. Off-White and Nike has been like the biggest collab of the past year. Off-White and Byredo, the fragrance elevator music is coming out this month. I'm literally, I've smelled it and it smells insane. So I'm so, so excited. Um, so yeah, either, like I said, if, even if you're not a fan of Off-White or Virgil, like his journey is inspiring. I think it's an incredible accomplishment um, for someone to come up in their own way and then get placed as head of menswear design at Louis Vuitton. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty excited about it myself. Um, but let's hear your guys' opinions. So I asked on my Instagram last night what you guys thought. So let's bring up some of those comments. I think some people who are a bit elitist when it comes to fashion, they're kind of angry about this because it's like not proper or whatever. And like Raph Simmons has had a go at Virgil for being, uh, for like not creating his own stuff, but more like repurposing other stuff, um, which, I don't think it's true at all. Like at this point, is anyone making things that are original? Um, if you follow like Diet Prada on Instagram, you can see that everyone has taken inspiration from everything. And it's kind of like, as long as, I think if you take inspiration from something, then that's fine. If you're doing like direct blatant copies, which a lot of designers do, um, which some people just seem to ignore. But what you guys have said on my Instagram, I said, what are your thoughts on Virgil Abloh Louis Vuitton? BLXVKE said, I think it's gonna be very different to what he's bringing out with Off-White, I hope anyway. That's what I think as well. I think that his stuff for Louis Vuitton is not gonna be like a t-shirt with like Louis Vuitton in the quotation marks. Well, let's hope not anyway. Um, I think it's going to be something different. Um, he has an opportunity to make a really big impact on the fashion industry, especially men's and streetwear. So um, I think everyone is going to be watching with a really careful eye as to what he produces in his first show. Someone said it's going to be life-changing, I can't wait. Emma Josh said, not excited whatsoever. <laughs> Hello, Chris Harvey said he's creative visionary. He wouldn't have got the job if LD, LV didn't think it would add value. Let's see what happens. Christopher Kane said, I'm not really into Virgil's youthful visions meeting with LV's traditional aesthetics. If anything, it might blend into Gucci's current identity. I'm excited to see if I'm wrong. Um, but it's really interesting because Gucci and Balenciaga have obviously taken a massive streetwear route in the past couple of years because they obviously see that that's where um, the money is. That's where the sales are at the moment. You know, kids wanting to spend 700 pounds on a pair of sneakers aka me, and Louis Vuitton are probably trying to tap into that. They came did with Supreme and all that kind of stuff, but I still think Louis Vuitton are yet to hit that sweet spot in the um, in the kind of streetwear industry. And for Louis Vuitton, obviously, I don't think it's even about making sales or making money because they obviously make sales because of their um, luggage and their trunks and their handbags and all this kind of stuff for women's wear, that's where their main chunk of money will come from. I think the Virgil thing is more of a, I think appointing Virgil at 
the head of menswear for Louis Vuitton is more of a a statement and you know keeping them relevant and that kind of thing because high-end luxury brands obviously have established themselves in the luxury space but then it's very hard to change people's perceptions of that um, so appointing someone like Virgil at the head of menswear can change that so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Zoelle says I'm excited um, because I think it's going to be very innovative and it might freshen up LV a bit which will be interesting. Master T says Gucci was played out last year now Louis V is going to be played out this year We'll see. Bayo World says, I think they've made a great choice as well as Virgil Abloh. It's going to be such a great move towards a different direction and aesthetic for Louis Vuitton. Can't wait to see what they create. Hopefully I don't have to sell a kidney to cop anything. So I think price point will be very interesting when it comes to the new Louis Vuitton stuff. Anyway, Louis Vuitton is ridiculously expensive. I've been looking at a phone case for my iPhone X and it's literally nearly as much as the phone. I'm yet to part ways with my card because I love it so much, but I'm just thinking like, that's a lot of money. Ikarlap.e says, personally, I must admit, I'm not a big fan of his work. I'm not sure if I'll, it'll be good for the brand, but for sure it's gonna have a big influence in the streetwear world and will um, expand the whole scene. Yeah, that that is true. It's it, Whether you like it or not, it's gonna change things. Primal Guy says, Virgil's gonna be um, going to, L Virgil going to LV is gonna be pushing LV in the right direction where fashion really matters. It's a bold move and I'm sure it will pay off and regardless it will be remembered in history and I'm, sh I'm sure it will burst Virgil's career regardless. I think it's it's been quite positive on my Instagram but obviously people that follow me obviously like the things that I do and um, so hopefully we'll be along the same kind of wavelength. Um, I think it's a really interesting move from Louis Vuitton and I'm very very excited. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below what you think it's going to do to Louis Vuitton, what you think it's going to do for Off-White. All I can say is that I'm really 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 excited um, so let me know in the comments below. And finally the Sunglass Hut Off-White collaboration um, so these are sold online, but uh, they're available in store at Selfridges for like a week, I think. It's a pop-up at the moment. Um, so they invited me down to go check out the space. I got to choose a pair of glasses to take away with me. Um, so, drum roll please. They come in this really nice clear, uh, for your eyes only. That's the name of the campaign um, box. And then a little sunglasses bag inside. Is that what you call this, a sunglasses bag? I have no idea. Um, and then I chose uh, this pair. Ta -da. So they are tortoise shell and they have the off-white arrow symbol on the side which is kind of a bit more romanticized in this um, detail and it's kind of like 3D printed on top of the sunglasses. It says for your eyes only um, on the inside and off-white CO the sun. Um, um, I chose the kind of more rounded pair. I don't know if they're going to go with what I'm wearing right now, but I'm like I said, I'm going to LA. Um, I got tickets to Coachella. Me and Drew Scott are going to Coachella, which I'm extremely, extremely excited about. Um, so I'm going to need some sunglasses. So I thought these would be kind of perfect. I don't know if they, <laughs> oh, I look stupid right now. <laughs> I'll show you some close ups of them. I'll put them on. But like I said, I don't think they go with what I'm wearing right now. Quality is amazing. The lenses are really nice. They add like an Instagram filter to real life, which is really nice. They had this amazing. They had this pair in pink as well, and I tried them on, but I really just, I just really didn't suit them. I think it's because my skin color is so pale that when I put on pink sunglasses, it just looks ridiculous. Okay, so this this exact pair is 169 pounds. Um, which I think for an off-white collab with Sunglass Hurt is quite decent. I'll leave a link to these in the description below if you did want to check them out. But yeah, I'm really excited to hear what you guys think in the comments um, about Virgil and Louis Vuitton. Again, any suggestions for videos whilst I'm out in LA, any creators that you want me to hook up with, then definitely let me know. And I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.